Now, when we're producing food or we're making food, we really don't want this enzymic browning to happen because it's not very appetizing. However, it's absolutely fine for us to eat. There is nothing wrong with eating a fruit or a vegetable that has oxidized or enzymic browning has taken place. It just means the color has changed. It doesn't mean it's mold or bacteria. That's something entirely different from enzymes. However, like I said, it's not something that we really want to take place. So how could we stop it? So first of all, we could maybe stop the oxygen accessing the cells. So we could do that by maybe covering the apple in cling film or maybe putting it in an airtight container, something that is going to stop the air reacting with the enzymes. Oxidation and enzymic browning can't take place if there is no oxygen present. So if we put the apple, um, wrap it in cling film or foil, or we put it in an airtight container, we could stop some of the uh, oxygen in the air getting con in contact with the enzymes. Another way we could stop enzymic browning is by introducing an acid. If we were to put vinegar or lime juice or lemon juice or orange juice on this apple, what happens is the uh, acid deactivates the enzyme, which means it stops the enzyme working. So therefore, we could give this apple as much oxygen as we wanted to, and there would be zero reaction because the enzyme has stopped working. It can't physically react with the oxygen if it's not working. So we could give it an acid to denature or to destroy or stop working uh, the enzyme. So we could remove the oxygen, we could change the acidic level or the pH level by giving the apple an, an acid. We could also change the temperature. Enzymes behave differently in different temperatures. So we could place the apple in the fridge, that might slow the enzyme down um, because they work much, much slower in cooler conditions or we could even heat the apple, and if we heated the apple to a high enough temperature, it would kill the enzymes, and then similar to the uh, acidic conditions or the change in the pH level, that would actually deactivate the enzymes inside the apple. So, lots of different options there. We could take away the oxygen, we could change the pH level, or um, we could even change the temperature and see how that affects the apple and the enzymes.